<sighs> Man, I'm so tired and sleepy. Uh, what time is it? Uh, wait, what? What time is it? Oh no, oh no, I can't be late for class again. No, I didn't go to class yesterday. I cannot be late for class. Close the, no, close the door. Oh, hi, good morning. Selfie, hi, why are you here and not in your classroom? Mariel, Instructor Trouble's looking for you, James and Renoa. I already spoke to Renoa, so you two better hurry. She's at the headmaster's office. Well, uh, what do you mean that she's at the headmaster's office? Why isn't she at the classroom? We're supposed to have class today, so... I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. I don't know, but she is mad. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, thank you so much for letting me know, selfie. I will talk to James, and we will sort this out, James. Oh my gosh, where is he, James? Oh, good oh, morning. Hi, hi. Good morning, honey. How did you sleep? I slept great. How are you? I'm good. I'm a, a little bit tired, but now I'm actually kind of stressed because I ran into Stress. selfie. Okay. Yeah, I ran into selfie at the hallways, dorm, dorm sure. rooms. Yeah, that area. And uh, she said that Instructor Trev is looking for both of us and Renoa oh. too, apparently. Okay. But um, she's not at the classroom, though, so she's at the headmaster's office. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Sounds serious. Uh, should we I get know. over? Yes, we should, because okay. I do not want to make make her mad. Okay, I'm yeah, not... let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what this is, uh, this is about, but hopefully it's something good and not bad. Yeah. Uh, oh, there they are. They're already here. Um, hi! Good morning, Instructor Tribe. Good morning, Renoa. Um, what seems to be the special occasion that we are gathered here at the Headmaster's office? I'm very disappointed in you two. You are both excellent students with a perfect track record, and then you just decide to skip class and take a new student with you? I thought you'd be smarter than this. Instructor, we are so sorry. We were just... No! An apology is not going to cut it. I can't have this kind of attitude going on. One of my students dies, another one gets poisoned, another one refuses to follow my lead, and four more decide to skip class? Four? What do you mean? Yes, you three and Yandere, you all didn't show up to class yesterday. That's it! Miss Trepp, please, you have to listen to us. Lisa is in trouble. We were out looking for her, and Yandre... Renoa, please don't start telling me lies. I know for a fact that you weren't out looking for her yesterday. What? Would you care telling me why a certain Laguna lawyer called me on my personal phone yesterday afternoon? Asking questions about Squall? Wait, what? And when I demanded to know how he got my personal number, he got nervous and muttered and then continued to hang up. I... I don't have any idea of who... Miss Hartley, before you finish that sentence, please know that I took the liberty to investigate the phone number that he used to call me. And what a surprise it was to find that it was the same exact number you used to call the garden when asking for information about enrolling in this school. Uh... So, once again, and think very carefully. Why did this Laguna person call me? I... I honestly don't know why he called you, Miss Trepp. Who is he? He's... um... he's my uncle and he was just probably worried about me. He must have called to try to get to know uh, my fellow students. So, instead of showing up to class, you decided to visit your uncle, whom I've never even heard about, and who is not listed in your application, and you take both Mariel and James with you? We were out looking for Lisa. We were just worried about her. So, while you were out looking for Lisa, your uncle just happened to call me for information about Squall? You really expect me to believe that? No, yes, um, we just went to talk to him so he could help us find Lisa. Guys, Lisa is probably fine. She hasn't been gone for that long. We have had other students leave campus for days, even weeks before returning to the garden. But Lisa's still recovering. She wouldn't just leave. I know. I understand. Trust me. I'm also terribly worried about her. But there is nothing I can do right now. My hands are tied. Especially after the headmaster has seen this type of behavior from most of my students. The headmaster is doubting my abilities as an instructor thanks to your disappearance and I can't force a search party for a student who has been gone for less than 48 hours. Wait, what? 
How can they doubt you? That That's not fair. We didn't mean to harm you in any way. We were just worried about Lisa. And since the police couldn't do anything, we, we decided to take matters into our own hands. We are so sorry, Instructor. As I said, apologies won't cut it. I'm afraid I'm being evaluated for my performance as a teacher. I may get demoted and as a seed, I won't have the same leverage to pull some strings to try to find Lisa. I know it's hard. We are all worried about Lisa, but you're training to become seeds, hired mercenaries. You have to learn to remain focused and not get emotional because that leads to making bad decisions and bad decisions can get you killed on the field. So you expect us to become robots? No emotions? No free will? Just follow orders no matter who gets killed or hurt? Renoa, a seed is much more than that. Seed members can help rebuild cities and wars, even put a stop to violence as a whole. So basically fight violence with violence. No, that's not what I meant. Whatever. I don't care anymore. You want us to stop looking for Lisa? Well, too bad. I'm leaving to find more clues on where to find her. <sighs> I fear that she has the fight spirit of Squall and the irresponsibility of Cypher. Marielle James, please look out after her and please don't get into any more trouble, okay? Yes. We apologize again. And if you see Yandere, can you tell her to come see me? I also need to have a word with that girl. Sure. Huh? What? Laguna wants to see me? Typical. Renoa, hey, wait up! Please don't be mad at Instructor Quistus. She's just trying to do her job and look after all of us. She's not my problem at this moment. What do you mean? Laguna wants to meet me. Well, that's great. Maybe he has some information on Lisa. He better have. I can't believe he called Miss Trepp. He was probably trying to look after you. He shouldn't have. I told him I was fine. Ugh. Okay, calm down. How about we just go meet him to see what's going on? Fine, but I'm gonna have a word with him. Now remember, what are you going to do? Get her. And kill her. Great! And if you get caught, I won't. Marvelous! Hey kiddo, how are you doing? Sip it, Laguna! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's got into you? How dare Dare you compromise my cover? Do you know how much of a setback that was? Well, what do you mean? What did I do? Don't act silly. I know you called Quistis. Uh, well, I, uh... No, no. No, no. You were completely out of line. You could have jeopardized our entire mission. I I'm sorry. I just wanted to... What? Get intel on my new boyfriend? You're what now? Ugh, you're unbelievable. Hold on, hold on. Are you guys... Actually, a couple now? Marielle, seriously? Now is not the time for this. I'm sorry, but I want to know. Marielle! Hey, hey, hey. If you're dating someone, I believe I should have a say on it. Says who? Me! Uh, stop changing the subject. What is the matter with you? And then not only do you embarrass yourself on the phone, but you use the same number? What happened to your detective skills, huh? I'm sorry. I... I wasn't thinking straight, okay? I was worried. Ugh, I'm so mad at you right now! Renoa, please, cut the guy some slack. He had his reasons, right? Yes, absolutely. Thank you, good sir. I can't believe you're taking his side. What? Listen, Renoa, honey, I'm really sorry for calling Quistus from the same phone line to ask questions about a student. I promise I won't do it again, alright? But- I'm sorry. I can make it up to you, okay? How about I offer some intel? I'm listening. The reason why I wanted to meet was because I actually got some information on this Yandere girl you guys are looking at. And? Turns out her whole story of being a transfer student is completely bogus. She was actually expelled from her old school. Expelled? But, but her school records indicate something else. Exactly, which means she paid good money or pulled some favors in in order to change her papers. That is so bizarre. And not only that, but check this out. Apparently other girls from her same school started getting bullied, harassed, and even received threats from a mysterious girl if they wouldn't stop talking to this popular boy she also happened to like. And do we know the reason as to why she got expelled? 
From what I could find, there was a long list including blackmailing students and faculty members, taking inappropriate pictures, and using school grounds for experimental recreation purposes. Whatever that means. Wow, so this girl is crazy. Basically, yeah. Do you have anything that can tell us where she could be keeping Lisa? Sadly, no. This girl's been receiving help from a tech-savvy person. Most of the stuff is highly encrypted, and I haven't been able to decipher the code they're using. Well, do you have any proof we can use to go to the authorities? It's all circumstantial. Nothing hard that you can use, really. Oh, I can't believe she's getting away with all of this! Don't worry, we'll get her. She is bound to make a mistake sometime. Hopefully, I just don't want more people to get hurt because of her. I'll keep digging and see what else I can find. I'll stay in touch, okay? Okay. And please, be careful. We don't know what else she's capable of. Will do. Who could that be? Um, uh, hi. Oh my gosh, Lisa, thank goodness you're okay. Where have you been? We've all been worried sick about you. I'm fine. Just needed air. Are you okay? You seem a little bit weird. Fine. Never felt better. Um, okay, if you say so. Do you want to come in? Do you need to talk to someone? With Yandere, I, I have something to show you. What is it? Is it about Yandere? Follow me. Hi, you two. Y Yandere, hi. How, um, how are you? I'm good. I'm still recovering from the flu. <coughs> oh, were you sick? Yes, terribly, terribly sick. Oh, we didn't know you were feeling bad. You could have told us or the instructor, and we would have been to the infirmary to see you. I didn't want to get anyone sick. Besides, I wasn't at the infirmary. I went to a private clinic where a family friend saw me and took care of me while I was ill. <coughs> How convenient. Excuse me? I meant how fortunate for you to have such good friends like that. And like you two as well, it was the thought of you two that kept me going for so long. Well, that's very sweet of you to say. I consider you guys to be my bestest friends. Just remember that, okay? We sure will. Oh, um, Yonder, will you excuse us for a bit? We have to go be somewhere else right now. And Instructor Trap was looking for you. You better get going too, huh? Uh, I guess I- Okay, bye now. Lisa, come on. Please tell me what this is about. Soon. Very soon. I, I told you, I don't know. I don't believe you. Tell me who she is, who she really is. I said I don't know, please let me go. <laughs>